Hello Flosstube, it's Lori of Mischievous Stitches. I want to welcome all of you to my channel. I'm very glad that you're here visiting with me today. On the Flosstube today, I'd like to share with all of you one of my favorite designers, and that is Lottie Dawes, Lori Markovic. I have many of her patterns I've been collecting over the years. I have a few pieces that are framed. I have some works in progress, and of course, I've got many patterns that I have yet to stitch or kit. This week, a dear floss tube friend, Alice, sent me a few patterns that I had, some I had not seen and several that I didn't own. And I wanted to share these pieces with you. So I pulled out all my works in progress, pulled pieces down off the walls that are framed and pulled out my stash so that I could share it with all of you. So if you've got a few minutes, sit back and let's get started. So Lottie Da, the, it's the her patterns just draw me in. It's the use of colors. It's the, she, she has several samplers, Quaker samplers. Um, she does the, my, there's, there's just several patterns that I love very much because a lot of the things that she stitches, maybe snippets from songs or verses, and they resonate with me. They draw in my attention. A lot of them are things from my childhood and I just gravitate towards her patterns. Um, like I said, I've framed only a few, and I have a few in progress, but I wanna start off showing those to you. So this is one of my favorite pieces, and this is called All of Our Troubles. I stitched this back in 2011, and it's usually here on the wall. I stitched it over one, I think it was on a 32 count linen. I think it is called, is it Baby's Breath, I believe? And let me share it with you. So here it is. I just love it. I love the color. For a long time, this, this was hanging in my bedroom. And I moved it up here because I just enjoyed looking at it. So I had it double matted. And it has a fillet. But I just love everything about it. So I do get questions on it a lot because it's, as I said, it's usually hanging right behind me in my floss tubes, but this is all of our troubles. And it says, if you can't read it, if all of our troubles were hung on a line, you would take yours and I would take mine. That's very true, isn't it? One of my other finishes is a freebie piece. And my friend Natasha had kitted this up with all the supplies to finish it. Um, at a retreat we were attending and a gift she gifted each one of those that in our little group um, this piece kitted up so it's a freebie it's listed on Lori's uh, website and this is a fallen leaf is summer's wave goodbye and so I finished this up last year or I had the piece finished but I fully finished it into a project pouch last year and I don't I'm not sure what's in it. Let me take a look. Let me make sure it's not, not a lorry. And it's not. It's a biscornu, but, but this is that piece. So I finished it up with some pumpkin fabric and some browns. Um, but I really like the way this, I was able to use um, that piece. I'm not a great seamstress sewer. Um, like I said many times, I'm just knowledgeable enough to be dangerous with a sewing machine. So, um, but I was happy with the way that one turned out. Um, I also have another frame piece, and this one hangs in my dining room. And my mother always had this prayer in her dining room. Just of course, um, hers was a printed piece, where mine is a stitched piece, and it as I said, it hangs in my my dining room. And this is the Serenity Prayer by Lottie Da. And as you can see, this one was stitched in 2010. So the font here is a little, um, it's not symmetrical at all. It's a little whimsical, just like the piece, but this is the Serenity Prayer. And I think this is stitched on, um, it's a Weeks Dye Works fabric. And I think this is their version of Baby's Breath. Oh, the other one, the, the um, All of Our Troubles was Queen's Anne, Queen Anne's Lace. That's what that is. This one is Baby's Breath fabric. So those are the only finished pieces I have that are framed or fully finished. But this is one I finished in 2018. My husband and I were on a vacation in Jekyll, at Jekyll Island, Georgia. 
and we had traveled down to Jacksonville, which is just a, you know, a few miles down into Florida from Jekyll, and I bought and st started this piece while we were on vacation. So this was stitched in 2018, and this one is called Peace on Earth, and I need to get this one framed. You know, pulling these out makes me think of these pieces that I have either not yet framed or um, I have in the works. So those are my only fully finished one. And as I said, she's one of my favorite designers, so I've got some starting to do, huh? So we're gonna jump out now and I'm gonna show you a few of my whips and there's not very many. This one I started at the New Jersey retreat, Floss Tubers retreat. I believe that was in 2018 as well. This is my working copy. Well, let me just go ahead and show you the pattern copy. But this is Tidings of Great Joy. And if I remember correctly, I have very little done on this one because I was doing the um, 18 starts and 18. Yeah, I do have very little, a shameful amount started. But this is my start. <laughs> If I remember, I think I was sitting in the airport awaiting the, um, waiting for the plane um, to come home when I started that one. But again, that one is Tidings of Great Joy. It's a beautiful piece. And a lot of these I've seen you ladies and gentlemen out there um, stitching or working or finishing these on Instagram. And another one I pulled out last year and have had been working on it. And this is one I really do for some reason struggle, but I did get progress last year and I hope to finish it this year. I'm due for a Lottie Da finish. And I don't have the complete piece because it was a mystery sampler, Margaret Cottom, age nine. And this is the bottom right hand side of the pattern of the completed piece here on the um, cover. So it came in three parts and the some I started this sometime between 2015 and 2017 and it stitched on Week Style Work Coco and that's where I'm at. So last year I did get a good bit of the you know come around with the border got another row of letters but again just a shameful amount worked on it. I really need to get moving. This one needs to be finished. And those are my only two whips. So the majority of this video will just be the patterns that I've collected and the ones that I was gifted. So let me start with those that were gifted. As I said, Alice was so kind to send these to me and there were several that I did not, I have not seen. This one is Lottie Da Quaker. It's a more of a recent design. And this one was there. And this is The Commandments, The Ten Commandments by Lottie Da. Now, I believe I have The Seven Virtues, but I did not have The Commandments. Now, this one is called Eagle's Wings, and it says, And I will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of my hand. Again, scripture. My country. This will be good for this month of May, um, celebrating Memorial Day. This one is Bo Peep. I thought I had this one in a booklet. Um, I couldn't put my hands on it when I was pulling everything out, but this is a cute little design. It's bigger than it, it appears to be here. It's actually 132 by 117. And this is Praise Jesus. I love the pattern work down here. It's more like a tapestry look there, and I, I like that. I'd really like to pull the colors and just see how they play together on this one. I'm sure they're more vibrant than there in the picture, so it looks like um, DMC... 3777 or 73 927 which is a blue tilly blue 734 which is a yellowy green 
And then 3790, isn't that a blue? I think it's a blue. No, 3790 is like a dark charcoal, isn't it? And this is the marriage sampler. And I had, I had not seen that. I've never, I have yet to stitch a marriage sampler for Clint and myself. So um, I was happy to see this one. And it says, a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. And then it has, of course, her name and her husband's name. They were married in 1980. So I really like that one. May do that one for me. Okay, there is an eye that never sleep, never tires, a God who never sleeps. He knows the secret of each heart and watches over us as he keeps. And this is Watchful Eye. So I've never seen this one. This is one of the few in this in this grouping that she passed on to me that I actually had. And this one isn't a booklet. This is this is the day. Lottie da. I remember in school when I was learning to type. This is the one of the things that I would type over and over and over again. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day until you get the rhythm. And this is Marion, the librarian. I've seen this one stitched up many times. She's a little, her dress is a little exaggerated, but I just, I love it. And this is another that I did have. Um, I actually just purchased this. I believe it was one of uh, McKenna's sales, um, stitches and sequins this past year. And this is our daily bread. And this is Jasmine's song, and I love the flowers in this. This is one that I do intend to, definitely intend to stitch. I need to kit this up. And this is the ones that, one of the ones that was passed on to me. And this is another I had never seen. This is Lottie Dot Alphabet. I've got a little one. I keep talking about my little one that's coming. I think this is one I need to stitch. You know, I do have um, You Are My Sunshine, and I have it kitted, and I do plan to stitch that up for little Evie, but this is Now I Lay Me. So it is a childhood prayer, and I would love to have this stitched for her. And I could should be able to frame this myself in just a frame. Um, I can thrift one or buy one and to get it framed for her. That would be perfect. And then this one is Claudia's house, another that I had not seen. So take a look at that. We got birds flying, those trees there, and that border, love that. So again, Alice, thank you so much. I just love them. Now we're gonna to get to my collection, you ready? Are you bored yet? These are the books that I was referring to. I picked these books up at Joanne's Fabrics, I would think about 10 years ago, and they each have several of Lori's patterns in them. Now this one has, and I'm gonna read off the name. The name of this one is Stitched and Small, Six Designs by Lori Markovich. I do not know if, um, they are still in print or you can still purchase them. But as I said, some years ago, I stitched the, I mean, purchased these at Joann's Fabrics. And this is, I'm trying to look at the names of them. I'm gonna show you, well, it doesn't name them in the pictures. So I'm gonna call out the names of them and then show you the pictures because the names are on the pattern pages. So you have Trek in the Woods, you have White Cat, Three Dogs A-Leaping, Sachi the Elephant, The Ark, and that's it. So Three, three Dogs A-Leaping's here on the cover. And that's White Cat, The Ark, Sachi the Elephant, 
I don't remember the name of the cat. Excuse me. This one, it was trekking through the woods. And let me look at the cat. Not the cat, the orange cat. Let's see. But these inside the, the um, patterns are in color. Um, some people prefer that color, color patterns, uh, colored patterns. Some do not. Said it's on 16 and 17. It's called Leaping Cat. So this one is called Leaping Cat. So that's the first book. And as you can see, there's the UPC code and things you may need to look it up. Again, all creatures stitched in small. The other one is words to stitch by. And this one has this pattern as long as well as because nice matters matters. And this is You Are My Sunshine. This is one of the ones I have kitted. So again, the names. Let me get to them. So there's many more in here than you can see. So I'm going to try to show them to you. So love is, love is the tie that binds. This is like a kite feels the wind. You are my friend. Good morning, sunshine. Mares eat oats, and does eat oats, and little lambs eat ivy. A kid will eat ivy, too, wouldn't you? I keep looking at this one. I just love the border on this piece. It's kind of like a knotted rope, doesn't it? This is another I really like. This is Because Nice Matters, because it really does. And then this is by her hand, and it has her name and initial and the date. And that could be easily changed and modified. And then this, I think that's it. That's it in this book. So then I, I have several of her freebie patterns, but I will link those freebie patterns below so you can take a look yourself um, I don't want to bore you showing you those patterns because you can't see the color usage and that kind of thing. But this is Elizabeth Jones Sampler. I think it came out at market, was it year before last? And I purchased it then. And I had these patterns because hers are just um, cardstock paper, most of them. And I just have them in sheet protectors inside of a three ring binder. But this is the All of Our Troubles that I showed you earlier that I had stitched and framed. And this one is a right spirit. And it says, create in me a clean heart of God and renew a right spirit within me. And this one is an Adam and Eve piece. This is Alone in the Garden. And I just found the Bo Peep. I looked for it before. I guess I flipped through it in the pattern. But this is Bo Peep, No Sheep. I was thinking for some reason it was in one of the booklets I shared. This is Bishel and a Peck. I love you, a Bishel and a Peck. A Bishel and a Peck and a hug around the neck. And then I have, this is one many of you have stitched. Um, I remember um, Julie McConnell, um, Reflections Needlework, has stitched this, and she had changed the fabric, and it was beautiful. She's so great at that. But this is Fractor Flower. And this one came out a couple of years ago at market. And this is a fine house indeed. As you can see, I've got that kitted with the fabric, and I'm sure one day I'll stitch that, but um, that's a lot of bricks to lay. <laughs> and these would have been perfect for this month, but this is in the forest, so you have two different hairs there.
and here's my love is patient love is kind so a lot of times i will pass my my finished pieces after i finish them but this is a few designers i do not and this is one of them once i stitch them up i just keep them this is lovely letters and of course there's every letter in the alphabet and i do have one of those stitched up that was stitched up for me by mckenna of um stitching in sequins she stitched it up i think we were doing were we doing a um exchange i think we were but she stitched up my initial here and actually let me grab it give me just a second it's, it was right in front of me but this is the one that she stitched for me i love that and then this one is mercy mercy and it says, teach me to feel another's woe, to hide the fault I see, that mercy I to others show, that mercy shone to me. Words to live by. This is another one, childhood memories. Did you girls, when you were younger, um, do the hand games? This is one of the ones, every time I see this one stitched, I can't help but sing that song and think of that little girl that was standing in the, the playground at school with her friends and, and play the hand game. But um, this is Miss Mary Mack. And then, and then again, not only in that booklet I shared with you, but also here in pattern form, I have Lottie Dawes, My Sunshine. This is Quaker Alphabet. I've seen this one stitched up and with the color changes and it's beautiful no matter what color you choose to stitch it in. This one is The Raven, of course, based on Edgar Allan Poe. And it looks like it's stitched on Havana. The Wheat Style Works Havana. It sure is. That's one of those colors that you can just pick out when you see it. And these are the seven virtues, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience, forgiveness, and love. And here is another and the final. This is the Toten Hair, another that would be perfect for April if it hadn't passed me by this year. So that's my, that my collection of Lottie Da patterns. I um, really need to get stitching on them, but there's so much in this room that I need to get stitching on. Um, I'm doing really good. I'm continuing to stick with my plans. Thank you for sharing, letting me share my patterns with you today. I hope you found it interesting or seen something that you were inspired, enabled to buy. But this past week, I've continued to work on my focus piece. And my focus piece is Reflex de Soie. And so this is the piece and I'm, I'm continuing to change up the colors. Mine are more of um, reds and peachy colors. And here I am. I, unfortunately this week, I, there was a couple of days I didn't stitch at all. Uh, I did finish up my Prairie Schooler Santa and I'll share him with you maybe next weekend. Um, I was trying to finish him on Friday, and I'll get to that in a moment, but this piece here, um, I wanted to finish that border, this border here, and go all the way around and then fill in the remaining pieces. That was my goal this week, and it didn't help that I stitched for, I was trying to do it at work because it's, even though I'm counting, I'm not changing threads. So I try to save things for work that's either fill-in items where I fill, um, stitch the border and I can fill in the center or things like that border that is one color. There is some minimal counting. And I stitched everything right but the first line. And the first line, unfortunately, I had re just repeated the line above it. So even though I had gotten a good bit around, I was off because of that first line I had put in. So I spent most of Thursday 
know, Friday, just removing all of that. And I have yet to get it all back in, but here's where I am. It's going faster than I intended it to, even with the removal. And now that I'm finished with my Christmas ornament, um, I'm able to focus on this one solely. So I did post my finished Santa on Instagram and I did the color changes for the um, bulbs, the, the 2022 Christmas Santa from Prairie Schooler. And I changed the bulb colors and I love the way it was, um, the way it looked. So I decided to finish that one and the 2020 Prairie Schooler Santa that I had completed. And I could not find my glue guns anywhere. I searched and searched and searched. And because I didn't stitch at the back half of last year, the last time I remembered having it was exactly a year ago, and I have two, when my daughters and I were putting together Easter wreaths. We had a crafty day. And I could not remember having it since then. I normally always put things in the same place for this very reason, because I will not remember, if I deviate from the norm, I will not remember where I placed it. And just this morning, I was letting my husband know at breakfast, hey, I am so irritated with myself for this, I can't believe I did it. He said, didn't you have it out at Christmas? And lo and behold, my mind clicked, and I remember we were having people over, and we did a whole lot of scooping things up, to put things away and I have put it with the Christmas crafting. So I've got them, everything's laid out and ready. I just need to do some assembly this week and then next weekend I'll share with you my two finished Prairie Schoolers. I have been searching the hashtag on Instagram for the Prairie Schooler Santas and I have been inspired by Ginger Shrill. She has several pictures of her Santas and I think I'm going to do something similar to what she's done. So I wanted to um, thank her for posting those there so that I can view and get those ideas. I also, my husband and I are planning um, our summer vacation. And we're going to visit St. Augustine, Florida. And there's a piece that I've been wanting to start. And I have not started. I was going to start it for my birthday last year. And then we got Hank. And, you know, and I decided... I wasn't going to start it. And then January rolls around. I said, you know, in plans for January, I'm going to have a new year, new start. It's going to be that piece since I didn't start it for my birthday in October. Again, didn't start it. Didn't pick my needle back up until February. So while we're on vacation, this is the piece that I'm going to start. We're also going to visit at least one shop, if not two, because I know that I'm not sure exactly how far Ocala is from St. Augustine. But I have visited and attended uh, several retreats there in the past um, at the shop in Ocala, Florida. And I see that there is, all, I know that there's also a shop in Jacksonville because I visited that shop um, on vacation from Jekyll Island. So I'm trying to get all the plans together, but I wanted to share with you that piece that I want to start. Oh, here it is. And it's an older piece, but I love it. Now, a sweet friend, Diana, had loaned hers to me several years ago and because it's an older out of print piece I didn't want it basically I didn't want to photocopy it and I didn't want to use her pattern and bend it crease it and so I never stitched it I know that's silly <laughs> but that's where my mind was I would never forgive myself because the pattern was not mine if I had damaged her pattern in any way but I had put a eBay search on it and so I was notified when they come up and the name would always get um, misunderstood by the the program that does that within eBay but one day it got it right and so I was able to purchase it and this is Spirit of Life by the Needle Love Company. It's a beautiful piece and it'll be perfect for a trip down to St. Augustine with all the history so this next few weeks, there will be a lot of um, research by me and, and just digging into the history there. There is a national, um, national park there um, for the Castile down in St. Um, Augustine. Um, lots of history there, the Fountain of Youth, and um, I'm looking forward to it. I've not been since a I was a child. Every year as a child, we would travel down to Orlando because we had family there, and we would visit 
course, Disney World and Sea World and different parks down that way. And I remember visiting St. Augustine, small memories. Like I remember seeing the outside of it, but I don't remember going inside. It was things like that. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing it with an adult's eyes and hopefully have gained some knowledge about not only the area, but the Castile when I'm there. Um, before I get there, I mean. So there's that. Let me pull the colors. It looks like I've pulled a few. So here's a few of the colors. And then here are the ones that I already had when I pulled those. So it's more muted tones, but perfect. Perfect for a trip to the beach. The fabric I'm going to use is Autumn Leaves, and this is by my friend Leslie of Under the Sink Fabrics. I actually stitched this piece, which is Joy by RETM Designs, on, the, on another side of this, but this is going to be the piece of fabric. I think it'll work perfectly. I hope you've enjoyed your time with me today. I hope I didn't bore you too much sharing with you all those patterns. Um, Everyone have a great week. Thank you again for visiting with me today. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.